While everyone's getting excited about Valentine's Day and romance and love and ugh, all that stuff, we thought this was as good a time as any to talk about the genetics of monogamy. Well, potentially. Recently, University of Texas scientists looked at 450 million years of genetic evolution and identified 24 what they call candidate genes associated with monogamous behavior in the male brains of some animals. Their definition of monogamy was to have a single mate for at least one mating season and to share the responsibilities of raising their young. Their hypothesis? Could these genes be the indicator of monogamy? The scientists studied five different species that displayed monogamous behavior, a pair of poison dart frogs, tilapia fish, warbler birds, deer mice, and meadow voles. So here we've got representation from the separate evolutions of amphibians, birds, fish, and two different mammals. By tracing each of their genetic lines all the way back to 450 million years when all five species shared a common ancestor, the scientists observed that these 24 genes appear five different times through evolution, totally independently. Meaning in the evolution of these mammals, frogs, birds, and fish they studied, these animals carried this combination of 24 genes, though they are on completely different branches on the tree of life. For now, we at least know of five monogamous species that all have the 24 candidate genes associated with this behavior, but there are a lot of other things to study here before this goes from hypothesis to fact. Regardless, it makes for a good topic of conversation over Valentine's Day dinner with your one special mate, or at least your mate for this season. For more information, please visit smv.org.